Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we're looking at the Play Art Sky variant Wonder Woman figure. Pretty cool figure. Uh, a couple gripes I have about this thing, but overall it's, it's pretty much an okay figure. So let's look at the packaging first real quick. Really cool artwork on the front, definitely in the anime style. That's fine by me. Cool artwork on the back, which is actually just the figure with Batman and Green Lantern on either side. Has the numbers of each figure in the series, DC Comics variant play arts. So that's pretty cool. Nice packaging. And then we have a little bit of Wonder Woman artwork right there. You can see through to the package, or not to the packaging, you can see through the packaging to the display stand. Then we have some more nice artwork over here and a description of their take on the character. So pretty nice packaging, comes with a display stand. Can't go wrong there. As far as accessories go, we have a fist for each hand. Fist on the right side, left side, fist on the right side. They all have a little armor piece on them. Then we have two open hands, one for either side. And we have her shield. We're not quite done yet, but we have her shield, which is pretty well done. I have a chip on mine, which is a real bummer, so I'm gonna get a replacement for that. But we have her shield, which also has its own hand. So that's pretty cool. And then we have her little necklace thingy. That does come off if you pop the head off and you get an interchangeable one, which is really just the same thing, but it has this back here. And the reason we have that is because once you take her shield off, obviously you don't want her hand on there permanently. So you can unpeg that. It's a really stiff, so be careful. So you unpeg that. And then the shield itself can hang on her back using that, which is really tight, but it does fit. So you can hang her shield on her back, and this part comes off as well. So that's pretty cool. I guess I'll show you that real quick. Why not? Pop the head off. Pop off the little necklace thingy. And then... There you go. You have her shield on her back, which is actually pretty cool. And so then you can just put her head back on and her shield's back there. I'm not going to leave it there because it'll be in the way for the review, but it's a nice thing to show you because it looks pretty nice. So let's see if I can get the head back on. I'll do it off camera so I don't fumble around for 10 minutes, hopefully. Okay, be careful when you are doing that with the head because the joint is pretty tight so you don't want to just mush everything and scratch up all the paint. Alright, so she has a good batch of accessories there as you can see. Unfortunately the lasso is not an accessory, it's connected to her loosely but it is connected. She stands, give or take, ten and a half inches tall to the top of her hair poof. So pretty good size, these are a lot bigger than most Play Arts figures. So that explains the price hike, and they're DC, so that also explains the price hike. As far as paint goes, aside from a couple blemishes here and there like you saw on the shield, the paints are really nice, tons of metallics and nice shading and detail work, so I'm pretty happy with it. Lots of kind of washes and dry brushes and airbrushing and lots of great detail work, and the face looks really good. Shading in the hair. Tons of really good paintwork, so I'm happy about that. These deep metallics look really nice, like on the gauntlets and on her boots. Everything looks good. The shading on the skin could be a little bit better, but it's not horrible, so I'm okay with it. It's not too bad. As far as the sculpt goes, again, I'm pretty happy. Uh, the hair, people are kind of iffy about the hair. I don't mind it so much. And a lot of people don't like this piece. If you don't like it, though, you can just tuck it behind and it really doesn't look bad at all. So that solves that problem pretty easily. And I think it looks good otherwise. Uh, the one thing I really don't like about this figure is the way they did the stomach. In order to have it look right, they made the abdomen go above the floating crotch piece, which is normally the other way around. And it makes her look like she has a little pot belly. It just doesn't look right the way they did that. This should have been a lot more flat. And this is actually a separate piece that they glued onto the red part and it just it doesn't look quite right. It gives her a bit of a pot belly in some poses. So it looks fine straight on, but if you look at it from the side, it doesn't look that great. And then kind of in the same vein as that, instead of just hollowing out or carving out this piece to make it look like her trunks, 
they just painted on some of the skin there which looks okay like in that angle right there it looks okay but they should have just sculpted the butt onto the actual butt onto the top of the leg and then just left the trunks a separate sculpt but whatever it's not the worst thing ever so I'm okay with it as far as articulation goes the heads on a double ball peg uh, pretty much an unlimited range of motion the hair of course does get in the way a little bit but pretty good so I'm not going to complain about that too much we have the butterfly joint in the shoulder a ball hinge on top of that bicep swivel then we have the ball hinge down here it's ratcheted and it swivels at the top and the bottom same piece of articulation for the wrist the upper torso is on a double ball peg so pretty pretty good range of motion it doesn't come forward as much as I'd like but it goes all the way back so you get a pretty good range of motion out of that and then like I said this piece is on a ball peg like they normally are but it goes over the crotch piece so it's pretty limited you're not going to get a whole lot out of it at all you can come forward a little bit back a little bit and I mean it's just fairly limited considering what we normally get the hips are ratcheted to the side and forward and backward and then they swivel around the ball peg just a little bit the knees are actually the same as the elbows this time it's the first time I've seen that on a Play Arts Kai figure the paint isn't the best on the inside right there you can see some skin tone coming through but this knee joint though it's not as sturdy as the normal knee joints it looks a heck of a lot better especially on a figure like this so I am okay with it it swivels at the top and at the bottom just like the elbows and wrists and then we have the ankle joint which is the same as always which is the same as that it's a ball hinge it's ratcheted and it swivels at the bottom and at the top she does not have the swivel in the foot so I'm okay with that her feet are actually really tiny due to the high heels that she's wearing so be careful posing her she's kind of top heavy not that kind of top heavy though that's true she's just top heavy for the feet so make sure you balance her before you let her sit on a high shelf and take a shelf dive so there it is she's sculpted pretty well there are a few issues but in most poses you can hide them no problem at all and the figure looks really good and the paints are good sculpts like I said sculpts are good articulations good really can't complain too much has a great shape for Wonder Woman she doesn't have super narrow shoulders so she looks like she can do a little bit of butt kicking like she normally can and it's just good figure overall I definitely not gonna say I don't recommend it just be aware of those few issues and go get you one they're pretty nice figures so get that and the other three play arts or other two play arts variants and then the ones that are coming down the line I'll have a preview video up for those hopefully sometime soon if I get around to doing it if not just go to Big Bad Toy Store and you can see them they'll be up there soon thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting <laughs>